Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know I did change my channel name to Bread for War. And you guys already know why, because we breed champions on this channel. And now that I got a little bit of a following, we almost got to 100 followers, guys. And I just wanted to, you know, I'm going to brand the channel to my own thing because you guys already know I'm playing Rival Stars. And you guys already know I'm the captain. So the old name, Captain Rival Stars, just throw that out the window because you guys already know what the deal is. We breed for war. And with that being said, if you're new to the channel, Go ahead and subscribe. We almost got 100 subscribers, people. Shout out to all y'all, man, for helping my channel grow. Shout out to everybody leaving likes on the videos. And shout out to everybody engaging in the comments. I really appreciate that. But um, let's get into this video. Um, I got a question from a subscriber, and it said, who is my best horse? So I'm going to show you guys my best horse. And I'm pretty sure... Whoever been following the channel already know who this horse is. His name is Broken Token, and he is a stallion that I bred myself. Um, let me go ahead and pull up this uh stat sheet. So as you guys can see, for the grade six, the max stat is 57, and um, the maximum is 148. So if you look at my level one, he is a perfect 57 across the board. And then currently, he's 146, 146 in sprint and acceleration, plus two, which reaches the 148 max stat. I don't know why the current isn't 148 plus two. Can't don't ask me. Ask <laughs> rival, ask pickpock. But um, as you see for the speed, it's 147 plus two. That's gonna be my best horse, guys broken token and um he always places first place he's a gray horse if the distance is 2000 meters hard or very hard even firm he's pretty much going to place top five always now i'm only giving broken token my best horse credit because that is the first max horse i bred but mama tiz is special because we bred mama tiz on this channel you guys witnessed me breed Mama Tiz. So as you guys can see, she's maxed out. Level 51 across the board. And then max that is supposed to be 112. But she's 111. And then she got plus 2 and plus 2 to the uh, speed and acceleration. So we're actually breaking the max stat threshold of 112 with 113 in both of those categories. Um, I'm going to leave a link of... Me breeding Mama Tiz in the description. So make sure you guys check that video out too. Uh, up next, my grade three horse, Tizman. I'm so high on this horse right now because I try to replace him. Can y'all believe I try to replace Tizman? He's been going crazy for us lately. As you guys can see, 48 across the board is set for acceleration. But we don't really care about him having 48 acceleration because that's just how fast the horse reached top speed. We don't care about reaching top speed fast. As long as we hit top speed, we're good. Um... Those are my best horses, just those three alone. Now, the other ones have to prove something. Big Dollar, my grade five, I would put next up. As you see, he's 54, 54, 53. 54 is a max level one stat, but he's not full potential because he only got plus one to everything else. I won Big Dollar from a live time trial. Um, he's a hit or miss when it comes to live time trials. So, you know, we need a new number five. We need a new grade five. Level 7, you guys already know Tiz the Lady is my sprinter. I only got her for, you know, campaign purposes. She's not that great, um, especially for the lifetime trials. And then my other two level 7s, those are just studs. Those are black studs, you know, just to see if I can breed any other black horses, which I haven't been too successful in. Uh, but with Tizzy, my mare at level 8, I've been successful breeding blacks with her. And, uh... You know, I might keep her around, but then I might sell her. My lone wolf for level eight, like I said before, is going to be Key Song, reaching 63, 63, which is the max stat for grade eight. And uh, for the speed, it's a uh, 63 with the bonus. So I'm going to explain to you why I'm so high on Key Song. And uh, actually, why I'm so high on <laughs> my grade eight and my grade nine horses. 
for my grade nine horses as you guys can see the max stat for grade nine is uh at level one is 66 and we've reached max speed for both horses with plus three which is super super huge you guys don't understand how huge that is where uh baby city lacks in sprint energy he got the plus three bonus which makes that max stat and then uh for acceleration where authentic lacks he got the plus three bonus so it's, it's gonna be real crazy i really feel like those guys are champions those guys are gonna be true champions and uh i'm gonna explain to you guys my strategy and why you see so many back horses so guys i need all you guys attention because i'm finna get into my strategy and why i win so much and why i prefer everybody stop what you're doing right now stop breeding front horses stop breeding middle horses only breed back horses only breed back horses trust me only breed back horses why because back horses get final charge that's 15 percent max speed when sprinting the last 300 meters whatever your speed is add 15 percent to your speed that's what you're going to get in the last 300 meters and that's why my stables you guys only see back horses in my stables now baby city has 66 max speed right with the plus three bonus right so you put max speed with the plus three bonus with plus 15 speed the last 300 meters this horse is going to be unstoppable that's why i feel like baby city is a future champion he's going to be a champion for me um this is just unstoppable it's unstoppable look at this 15 percent max speed while going down the stretch that's just absolutely insane um that's my strategy guys for the lifetime trials nobody's going to be able to beat you because that makes your time shorter and that's what i've been doing and you guys have been witnessing this for a while now but um i want to go i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys baby city in action now this is a race i should lose right they giving me 8.50 in the odds and there's two horses that they're claiming to be better than me dazzling fly he's faster he got you know he's better acceleration assertive acquaintance he's faster you know he got more acceleration but can he beat me can they beat me though can they beat me though Ugh, they're in the gates perfect start so guys um with the back horses you guys go for the perfect start don't try to break late or try to you know break too early so you can end up in the back uh get the perfect start and if your horse gets the lead let him have the lead and, and just cruise with the lead but in this predicament there's faster horses than me so i didn't get the lead so what i'm gonna do is take the rail as soon as i can and okay there it goes i'm taking the rail now I'm just going to sit off the pace right here. Just like tis the law. We're going to sit off the pace. And uh, just stalk the horses. Just stalk the leaders. Um, you're still a back horse. Which means you're still a closer. Which means right now you're starting to... You see? He's starting to uh, come forward without me even asking. But yeah. That horse in first place is way up there. And it looked like he's already breaking away. So I'm going to break with him. Um... Look how far he is ahead of me. I'm not even sweating it right now. Because yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Nose on the wire. Let's go. Baby City comes through with the win. Uh, This video was already at nine minutes, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, All that good stuff. Uh, if you got any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment box and I'll try to get to you guys as soon as I can. Um, yeah, I'm out.